guys, so I'm actually going to be filming from my computer today um, just because my battery is really low on my camera and because of my setup is changing in my room where I film, um, I wanted to just try and see how this works. Um, I won't be filming all my videos like this, so if the quality is not as great as with my camera, which I'm sure it probably won't be, um, that's, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, but um, I wanted to go ahead and just quickly film a little tutorial on how I do my winged out cat eyeliner. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and just keep watching if you want to see how to do it. Okay, so um, I have my foundation on already and I have lip gloss on. I have blush, a little bronzer just to kind of warm up my face, concealed under the eye area. I did my brows. I did a little inner corner highlight with Kitten uh, by Stila, the eyeshadow, which looks like this. Um, really pretty, sh super shimmery color. You can use this as a highlight on the skin, um, like on the cheekbones, um, inner corner of the eye, um, under the brow bone, whatever you want to do. Or you can use it all over the eye, which I like to do a lot as well. So I already did that earlier today, this morning. I just didn't do mascara because I knew I was going to film this. Um, I'm just going to take the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay and just um, go into WOS, the Walk of Shame color here. And I'm just going to use my fingers, so I don't have my brushes handy right now. And sometimes a finger, you know, works just as well anyways. And I'm just going to lightly go over the lid with this color. It's just a nice, pretty um, skin tone color that matches my skin pretty well. I do have more color right now because summertime and I've been laying out by the pool and I was at the beach with my husband for a week and so um, I didn't get to lay out a whole lot then but I've been like running outside and everything so I've been getting some color this summer so but this still matches pretty well with my skin tone even when I have color so once you've done that you can choose to put a color in the crease um, since I don't have my brushes I'm just not going to worry about it because sometimes I don't mess with doing anything in the crease it just depends on the day I don't think you always have to um, sometimes just, you know, adding color on a lid and then just a little bit of contrast with your natural skin tone and around that crease area kind of creates like a natural definition anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to be using my trusty NYC high definition liquid liner. It's just in black. I really like it because it's um, a pin, like a felt tip pin. Um, it is getting a little bit on the low side. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't talk today. My throat is just so... Uh, acting crazy um, but I really like this for doing the liquid liner or the cat eye um, look and then sometimes since it's running out I go over with my elf liquid liner which just looks like this it's more liquidy and inky um, so it can be a little bit messier when you're doing that winged liner so I would say for beginners this would be a really good type of liner to use something that has like a point at the end and it's a felt tip. It gives you more control. Um, so I'm going to try and do this the best that I can so you guys can see. And I got my little mirror in front of me as well. So I can move my keyboard out of the way here. I got a new computer finally so I can film and it'll be a little bit easier for me. So I'm just going to see if I can do this. Okay. So what I usually do is just go ahead and start getting right close to the lash line and start making little strokes horizontally like that. And I'm going to kind of pull my eye a little taut so I can see what I'm doing better. With my lashes sometimes get in the way. You may find that that happens with you, to you. And I'm kind of just using the pointed tip right now to kind of, you know, make sure I'm getting right up in that lash line and fill in any, you know, gaps that there might be. And you want to just kind of go ahead and get on like a little bit of a line and then you can perfect it as you go. And just going into the inner corner. Just smooth this out because it's a little bumpy. So the shape is not really what I want it to be, so I'm just kind of trying to adjust it. And 
And I'm gonna close my eyes so I can just And of course, depending on your preference, you know, you'll determine how thick you want your line to be. And I just made a little mess there. It's not super nice. Well, I can go back and touch up with the Q-tip or something, a little eyeshadow sometimes. That'll do the trick. Okay, so now I pretty much have the shapes that I want. I might go back and change it, but for right now. Um, then what you want to do, the trick is for figuring out where you want your wing and everything, is to imagine that there, your lower lash line, the outer corner here, is continuing up and out towards your brow. So right there. And I already kind of made a little mark there. So obviously you don't want to start down here, but you kind of want to get that general angle. And I'm making a little bit of a mess. And that's okay if that happens. You just go in with a little makeup wipe or, your, you know, um, concealer or something or a little foundation. And you just do that. Just get your wing going. Just connect everything. So that is pretty much how you do it. I'm just trying to fix a little bit of the inner corner part of the liner. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my liner, or just my makeup in general, really. Cats are trying to get in the room. Okay, so that is the basic winged liner that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, some days I do it thicker than others. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm going to show you a trick just to kind of clean it up. I'm going to just take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, it's in Fair, number 15, I believe is the number. It's kind of rubbing off. Um, and just dot a little bit of concealer right under there. And you can use a brush or you can use your finger. Um, and I'm actually going to just, since I don't have my brushes with me, I just kind of grabbed some stuff because I wasn't doing a cool makeup look. Um, but I'm just going to use the brush that's on my little Rimmel Perfect Match Perfection Concealer. Um, and just swipe under where your liner is there on your wing. And then you can just take your finger and pat it. And then there you go, you have a nice crisp wing there. Please excuse my pimple, I'm going to conceal that again. Got a little bit, I've gotten so much color. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead, did my mascara. Um, you can't really see the mascara on my upper lash line for some reason as well in this video. But, um, yeah. I promise I'm wearing it. <laughs> um, sometimes when you have a thicker band of liner, it's not as noticeable unless you do falsies. But um, I just put on my L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition, the gold tube, my standard go to mascara that I love.
No, ma'am. Oh, she's trying to get up. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Silly kitty. She thinks she can hop up here on my desk and be all up in my stuff. Not okay. Um, I am going to use my e.l.f. liquid liner and just go over... liner a little bit and sometimes I go over the wing a little too just to darken it and even though I already did my mascara on this eye I'm just gonna go over a little bit with this because I didn't do that I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Finding eye pencil, whatever you want to call it, and do my upper, upper waterline, or tight line, whatever you want to call it, tight lining. This is called tight lining. And when I do this, and I go like the inner corner there. It also kind of helps because of the transferring. And this is something I'm used to doing. Not everyone is used to doing this, but I just kind of like look down and I just trust myself and I know um, like where pencil is and I'm able to tell, you know, where it is and I'm not gonna poke myself in the eye. Um, so, even though this eye is giving me a little bit of trouble, I'm just going to go ahead for the sake of video, put the mascara on, and call it a day. I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible because some of my videos tend to be pretty long, and I don't want to keep making super long videos because you're not going to be as likely to watch all the way through, so... And it really doesn't need to be a long one anyway. It's just a cat eye tutorial or cat eye liner, winged out liner tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to touch up the right eye. Okay. I think I am going to try um, another mascara at some point. Um, and branch out from using my typical one that I use, but for right now, since I have a fairly new tube of it, I'm just going to keep using my L'Oreal. Oh, here's my kitten. I'm going to use Kitten Eyeshadow by Stila, like I mentioned before. On the inner corner, I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. I just had it. Alright, and then you can just kind of take it under the brow a little bit too. And you can even, get this, you can even go over your cupids bow. And it just kind of subtly adds a little more fullness and plumpness to your lips. And then you can just highlight your cheekbones, girl. I'm just adding some stuff onto this little tutorial here for you. Using my fingers, a little bit down the bridge of the nose. Nothing cray cray. Okay. So, there you have it. Um, I will have everything listed below, like product wise, what I have on the rest of my face. Um, but I will go ahead and say my lips, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Glass in Eclair, which is a gorgeous pink color. So, so pretty. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful. If you're struggling with trying to do a cat eye, I hope that this made it a little bit easier for you. Um, I really do, again, highly recommend this particular liner or just a liner that has a felt tip pen like this. If you want something a little more high end, I do want to, I, and I plan on trying this eventually. The Kat Von D at Sephora has um, a liquid pen 
liner like this, um, and it's I think it's called the tattoo liner, and it's supposed to be really inky black and really really good and and you know long wear wearing like very long wearing. I can't talk, um, but I think it's a similar pen like this. So the felt tip pens, you'd have more control when you're applying it, which I think is really great for when you're new to it and it's a little bit intimidating. And using something that's like this can be a little bit trickier because it's more flexible, the wand or the little brush, so, and you can make a, a huge mess with it if you're not careful. So, um, let me know if you guys have any questions and feel free to comment down below um, with any, you know, suggestions for tutorials in the future that you'd like me to do. I'd be more than happy to oblige and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.